VBout supports web push notifications, which are messages that gets delivered to your browser directly. This is not an email message. It's not an SMS. It communicates directly with the browser hash and it gets delivered right onto your screen. It looks something like you see coming from your Outlook uh, or any inbox that you use. Uh, and they are usually aggregated on the right side. Okay. Very powerful channel. I covered in depth within the automation uh, processes, but we can activate them not only on your website, which requires a file to be uploaded. We can also activate them without any setup on our landing pages. All you have to do is go to your landing pages from the right side, click on the drop down, And here, all you have to do is click on browser push settings. And our landing pages, all you need is clicking on this button right here. Customize your settings on the opt-in design. If you want to add a logo, for example, I'll just choose, I don't know, my, uh, let's choose my picture. You can configure when to show it. You can show it after five seconds, for example. You can also set it up to show again after five days when someone declines, if you want. The notification defaults are not that critical. You can always customize these when you're creating your messages later. Okay. That's all it takes to activate web push. Let me show you how this looks. I'm going to refresh this landing page. And of course, I have to wait for five seconds. Now you're going to know this is the first prompt. This is exactly what I was seeing on the other side. So let me reopen it again, browser push settings and opt in message. That's the message right here. You can change the labels, you can change the headlines, the buttons, etc. Once I click it, usually I get the prompt response, the default uh, browser response. And now all I have to do is click allow. That's it. Now this landing page acquired a new subscriber for web push. And you can see these from the drop down here. So you can see, for example, how many people opted in this is my IP. If I ever end up converting, filling out a form, this IP will merge back to my profile and I can still reach out to myself or to this contact uh, via web push. Another thing worth noting once you activate the web push is whenever you want to send a broadcast for those who opted in to web push, under automations, I'm going to click create automation. I can do a date based trigger which technically all it does is um, waits or executes on a specific day. So I'm going to say maybe January broadcast, web push broadcast. This is the label for the thing, but on the drop down, I want you to really note how all the way on the bottom, I have a section for landing page opt-ins. So when I say joined in VBout, I'm also talking about landing page opt-ins. And that's the page that I was uh, on right now. So I'm saying to VBout, anybody who says yes to the browser push opt-in on, I want you to launch this campaign on uh, the 29th, let's say, send them a browser push message and then add a delay, maybe a couple of days later, send them a follow-up email. So you can create the same exact flow in automation uh, when it comes to web push opt-in or web push broadcast. So I just want you to note this from this drop dropdown. Uh, it's separate from your website opt-ins, but they could be also grouped together when you're creating campaigns.